So you're thinking about moving to Dallas, Texas, but you're not quite ready to buy. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you around to a couple of different apartment complexes that got some killer views and some killer amenities. And so that way, if you just wanna rent when you first move to Dallas, no problem at all. We can help you with that and we're gonna get after it right now. This is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Dallas, Texas, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the market in Dallas, Texas. So my name is Levi and my partner Jimmy and I, you know, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make a move to Dallas. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. So as you can see, I'm here in Deep Ellum right now at the first apartment complex we're going to take a look at. We are up here on the rooftop. So you can see, man, they've got some TVs. They got some TVs, a whole sitting area right up here. And you see right behind me as well, you got an awesome view of downtown Dallas. This is the proximity and how close you are to downtown. Uh, and, and if you're not familiar with Deep Ellum, Deep Ellum is the music scene of Dallas. It's in a bit of a revitalization right now. It was all the rage back in the, in the 2000s and then uh, 2005, 2010 to 2015 kind of hit a rough patch. But now it's coming back bigger and better than ever. And uh, this complex is brand new. Prices range uh, around $1,500 or average. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different units in here and all the amenities. So, you know, let's go, uh, let's go take a look. All right, now this is what it's all about right here. Now I'm on the third floor of this complex and you can see you've got uh, the pool right here overlooking downtown. You can kind of see that in the background there. I gotta watch my step here. I might end up taking a swim. <laughs> uh, that would be, uh, I would actually leave that in too if I, if I fell in. But this is a super nice pool. They're actually, they're doing a little bit of uh, you know, construction down there. That's the thing with downtown. You're always gonna hear a little bit of construction going on in the background, but you know, this is a brand new complex. They just finished that. And you can see here how close, again, you are to downtown. So if you're gonna be commuting, then it's gonna be super easy to get there. But look at this, you've got the lounge chairs uh, in the pool area right there, which is absolutely amazing. They've got plenty of lounge chairs all back here. This is a super nice pool, if you can see it there as well. They've got the barbecue pits over here, right behind me as well. And again, you know, we started out, we were actually on the rooftop. Uh, so they've got that whole rooftop seating area. Looks like they've got a fire pit in the back over there. You can kind of see in the corner a little fire pit going on over there. So this complex is in Deep Elm. So by the way, comment below as you go through these, comment below if you like Deep Elm, we're gonna show you a couple other complexes, uh, Uptown and probably Bishop Arts. And so, you know, comment below, let us know what you think is, uh, is the best one, what, what, uh, which one is your favorite. They've got another little fire, uh, little fire area right here as well. So a cool, cool spot, bar area, again, right behind me. You've got all of Deep Ellum, so your walking distance to restaurants, bars, music, everything you need. You can even see you've got, uh, if you want some of these apartments, I don't know if they're available that overlook the pool or the downtown area. Of course, those would be the, the most desirable. But here, here's the other, uh, the cool aspect of this is that you can simply walk in here and now you've got this whole common area in here. So you can see awesome big screen TV, lounge, uh, pretty much living area right there. Another uh, seating area right here as well. More seating area right there. You got full on kitchen. So, you know, ultimately uh, you, once <laughs> COVID's gone down a little bit and they'll probably allow, I, I don't know what the rules are in particular to this complex, but again, I'm sure they'll probably keep this, this limited and I'm not sure how you can see, uh, you know, it's during the middle of the day. I'm not sure how busy this is getting on the weekend or what restrictions they might have in place, but all those things you just, you know, you're gonna have to work with that no matter where you're at or where you're uh, going to be moving into. If you're moving into an apartment complex, I'm sure there's gonna be some limitations, but still, I tell you what, 
hopefully if all this is over by summertime, this is going to be a rocking spot to hang out. I really like it a lot. It's amazing. So uh, let's go check out a couple of apartments. Hey, and if you like the gym, then you've got to check out this gym. It is pretty killer in here, uh, you know, to have your fitness center on site as well. That's pretty awesome. So we can see you've got, oh, well, you got your uh, kettlebells, you got some medicine balls, you got your benches, you got your dumbbells. Uh, let's see over here, you got your squat rack or push press, your row machine, your stair stepper, all your treadmills. Look at that, you got some, uh, some parking right outside there. You got your machines. So everything you need as far as in the gym, even, I don't know, what are those? Are those the Peloton bikes? Oh, they are, they are Peloton bikes. So there you go, you got your own Peloton bikes. If you've ever wanted one of those uh, and you haven't been able to scrounge up the money to get one of those, then you've got two of them right here in this complex. So uh, well, let's get back at it. I just wanted to show you the fitness center real quick. All right, so we are here in the first apartment. It's just about 600 square feet. It's a one bedroom, one bath, and it's right at $1,545 a month. Just so you can kind of get an idea about what you're looking at here. This is, of course, the living area. Also, you see you've got a little dining area right there and great view. You check this out. Of course, that's what uh, living downtown is all about, right? Get those downtown views. Uh, this is all gonna be deep Ellum right through here. The, the following three streets that all run parallel. Uh, they all run into downtown, which is right there. So if you're gonna be working downtown, you're basically gonna have next to <laughs> no commute. I mean, this is a pretty amazing kitchen, dark wood cabinets, I like the black subway tile there uh, you know you kind of got a smaller eating area but hey it works you're going to come right in here into the bedroom they've got this nice barn door definitely a space saver but if you're going to be hanging out in the bedroom you also got a nice opening so you can see here open shelves not too bad good size closet Uh, so, you know, that, that should work right there for as you are, uh, you know, if you're going to be moving into a 600 square foot space, you should be living, you know, pretty light, I would say. Here's the bathroom. Very nice. Again, they went with the, got the dark wood, the dark counter. What's up? <laughs> and nice bathroom shower let's see what you got here full washer and dryer so that is definitely nice to have full washer and dryer in your unit i tell you what that is one thing if you ever lived in an apartment you got a nice coat closet right there if you've ever lived in an apartment that doesn't have a washer and dryer in unit it's not fun i, I tell you what i've only lived in one i was in chicago when i lived in chicago uh, i had the first floor apartment, but the washer and dryer was actually in the basement and I had to carry my laundry down there to the basement. And then, you know, other people were using the washers and dryers and you'd have to wait. And then once you let your stuff dry, then people would come down there and take your clothes out of the dryer and put it on top of the dryer so that they could use the dryer. I mean, it's just kind of like everybody's in your stuff, you know, and I just, I don't like that. Number one, carrying my things all around uh, and then letting other people and then basically sharing washer and dryers with people anyways even though i realize that it's using soap but at the same time still kind of grosses me out a little bit but other than that the fact that you got a washer and dryer in unit for uh, a one bedroom one bath 600 square feet to me is worth the price uh, almost as well. You might find uh, an apartment complex for 12, you know, 1200, you know, nor sometimes they, they will have the washer and dryers in unit, but it's almost worth the additional money to have that. At least it would be for me. So uh, let's go check out a two bedroom. How about that? 
All right, so now we're here in the two bedroom, two bath, and this is just a little bit over uh, $2,100 uh, per month. And it is super nice, as you can see, kind of the same as the one bedroom where they've got the dark cabinets and, uh, but you've got this amazing island all along here. Uh, again, dark cabinets, black subway tile, love it. You've got this uh, cool uh, living room area and you've even got outdoor balcony right there. That's gonna be, this is street level on this one. You're gonna come in here to the bedroom, nice size bedroom. Uh, this is really, really good size. And then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna love these closets. <laughs> so definitely his and hers sides, I would say. So plenty of closet space there. Again, now look at this bathroom, double vanity, nice tile floors, and looks like a really nice shower you've got going on in there. And again, linen closet right in there. And again, that's a that's a great size closet for uh, for an apartment complex. Now you come through here off the living room and you're going to come into the second bedroom, which they kind of have set up as an office. So if you're looking for something that you want to work from home, not necessarily have uh, a second bedroom or a roommate or whatever it is, but still you still got a great size great size closet in here even for the second bedroom and you come through here and this is going to be the bathroom slash Jack and Jill because it's going to come right back out here on the into the kitchen area and look at this You've got this cool little cubby for your uh, your coats kind of like a mini mud room so to speak let's see here what we got in this one another coat closet there as well and I imagine Possibly, yep, washer and dryer right there. And I like how they've got a nice door that covers up that washer and dryer. So that way, you know, it's very aesthetically pleasing. So you can kind of just get a feel through here again. Great open concept. And, and uh, again, you've got a street access or, you know, <laughs> street access, I say street access, but a street patio, you know, if you like to, people watch I guess you could say as they go by but uh, it'd probably be a little busy I'd say that would probably be the downside of having this ground floor unit with that balcony is it's going to be uh, you know a little busy there on the street although I don't hear anything there's there's a couple of cars that have driven by there went another one that went by kind of fast and I was just listening I didn't hear anything so they've soundproofed this very very well so you're not gonna catch a lot of that street traffic yep uh, I'm watching the car go, the cars go by. So again, you know, awesome countertops. This is a great unit. This is the two bedroom, two bath, uh, about 20, just over $2,100 per month. And it's super nice. You got access to all those facilities. I think that's a good deal because, uh, I tell you what I've paid in Chicago before 2,400 a month, uh, 2,400 a month was our apartment up there. And that was a steal. <laughs> and it was old and that's the one with the laundry in the basement so that one was 2400 a month for old rickety they had the the radiators there wasn't heat in there it was the radiators i mean it was an old old building and it that was a steal so to get this for around 2100 uh, i mean it's a pretty good deal washer and dryer in unit huge closets it's pretty awesome i like these black appliances that looks super sharp along with it sleek all you need is like a black ferrari to go with it right all right so uh that wraps up this apartment let's go check out the next quick update that two bedroom two bath unit was 2400 so i just wanted to throw that in there so if you do want to come to this complex and that that's not available at that price don't be mad at me i had to make it a made a quick correction so just update you there all right Let's go check out the next place. All right, we are in Uptown right now, which uh, as you can see, when you're in Uptown, you are up from downtown. And this is an amazing outdoor pool area. Look at everything, look how big it is up here. Uh, you've got a whole seating area all back through there. As you can see, uh, you've got this whole, this the pool area. You can see the, all the high rises around. You're just kind of like nestled right in the middle 
of everything right here in Uptown. Now, Uptown's gonna be a little bit more pricier because this is the place to be. If you've checked out a couple of our other videos, you'll know that uh, we list Uptown as the number one spot for young professionals. And if, uh, you know, if that's something that you wanna be a part of everything, nightlife, daytime, brunch spots, uh, the Katy Trail, hiking and jogging, uh, you know, everything you're going to want and need is going to be right here in Uptown. And on top of that, literally, you're just steps away from downtown. You're next to Clyde Warren Park. Uh, every, you know, just whatever you need, close to all the highways, 75, 35, 45, 30, everything you need uh, is going to be right here in Uptown. Of course, look at it. Look at all these lounge areas they've got with all the TVs and everything along there. It's kind of like, this is almost kind of like a Las Vegas club right here. Uh, you can see turf, turf area for the animals, lots of seating areas, but this is super nice uh, spot. Now, as I mentioned, it's gonna be a little bit more pricier here in Uptown. So your one bedroom, one baths are gonna be starting right around $2,000, okay? Prices are gonna vary a little bit, but also uh, the, the uh, two bedrooms, the two bedrooms are gonna be closer to 3,000. So, man, now that wind's picking up. Sorry about that, but let's, uh, let's, go, let's go inside. Now the reason, one reason that Uptown is a little bit more pricey is as you can see in this, just in this building that I'm at right now, this is the spa area. Look at this. You've got massage, <laughs> linens. You've got all the lounge chairs. You can come right back through here. You've got the hot tubs and the dipping pools in there as well. You've got the saunas. You've got full sauna. You've got the wet sauna and you've got the, uh, the dry sauna. So I would say that's not too bad. When you've got a, a whole spa in your building, then that's why you're going to pay a little bit more. Uh, let's go take a look at the gym real quick so you can get an idea of that. But comment below. Let me know if you like Uptown so far or like the amenities. And, and it's not that everything, I'm just saying this building we're in right now starts at around 2000 for a one bedroom, one bath. We could probably find something a little bit less than that in Uptown. But again, that's going to be kind of like your, uh, a good range, 1500 maybe at the minimum in Uptown. So, you know, it just depends on your needs. If you want to be here in Uptown, we'll find something that fits for you and uh, let's go check out the gym and uh, see what that's like. All right, now let's check out the gym so you can kind of see that. And it's got a nice view, little view of a outdoor area. You got all your uh, equipment that you need. Got some TVs back there, squat rack, all your treadmills and some machines right over there. So now let's go check out some apartments. All right, so I wanted you to see this other cool part too, the kind of the common area. They've got uh, the TVs with the fireplace there. Look, they've got some co-working spaces back through here. Again, uh, looks like a little conference area right there to go in the back and that overlooks the pool. So even if you wanna get, uh, get your work done and kind of check out the pool, Although some could consider that a little, little creepy, but uh, no. But you've got this whole nice area. They're keeping it clean for you right now. And again, you've got these views. You've got these views of uh, just kind of, this is Highway 75 right out here. And downtown's just right on the other side of that building, basically. So this is more uptown that way. And again, this whole lounge area overlooks the whole pool, which is, uh, yeah, not bad. So now, now let's go check out a couple of apartments. All right, let's do that. All right, so we're starting out here in the one bedroom, one bath. You can see a pretty nice little kitchen right behind me. But here's the killer part. Got a nice balcony, nice view going into North Dallas. Uh, looks like the balcony goes all the way into the bedroom. So we'll go check out the bedroom. And again, you got a nice window looking towards North Dallas. 
okay size bedroom, it's your closet, and your bathroom. Let's see where the light is. Boom. There you go. Well, <laughs> that was easy. And there's your, uh, there's your view. So that's a one bedroom, one bath here in this complex. Again, when you're in Uptown, you're gonna pay a little bit more, space a little bit less. But again, everything, all the amenities you get in this building, pretty awesome. So that, uh, let's go check out the next one. All right, so here we are in a one bedroom, one bath in this complex. You can see here, uh, I would say a little bit smaller kitchen, but you know, again, you're in Uptown, so that's gonna be I know, kind of higher prices and smaller square footage, but still, you saw all the amenities so far, awesome gym, awesome pool area, spa. Uh, so, you know, you've got, I, I assume if you're living in Uptown too, you're probably not gonna be doing a lot of cooking from home because there's so much at your doorstep. At least my, I would be out, you know, practically every night. There's always gonna be a new bar or restaurant you can check out. Uh, but you can see here, you've got a pretty good open area for the living room. And then of course you got that view, right? <laughs> So you can't beat that view. Uh, this is looking more towards uh, going north. You, you don't have the downtown view on this side. Uh, right down here, actually, they're gonna be starting up. This is all gonna be a whole new massive complex uh, coming in uh, over the next year or so. It's gonna be absolutely amazing, completely done up. You've got some built-ins over here and Let's check, oh, actually, I made a mistake. This is the two bedroom. So this is the two bedroom, and here, here's the master. Here's the master, clearly, which is a good size. You got the shower and the tub. Actually, you got two showers, look at that. You can shower at the same time. You <laughs> don't wanna shower with whoever else you have in here. Nice size closet. Good size, that's a good size bathroom. I would say, you know, this master is a little bit on the smaller size, but again, I don't think you're gonna be spending a lot of time, but then you've got this view, kind of get to see all the action that's going on, get to see towards, uh, you get to see towards North Dallas, and then it has a bedroom over here on this side, which again, you can see, also has a view and you've got a balcony out here as well. You wanna enjoy the outdoors. And again, you can see you've got a good size closet in here, even for the second, uh, second bedroom and there you go. Your bathtub, shower, what's up? So anyways, that's what you're looking at for the two bedroom, two bath. That's gonna be, like I said, they start out around 3,000 around here. And let's, uh, let's uh, go to the next one. All right, so now we're in a, the one bedroom, one bath, just to kind of give you an idea as I move towards the huge window here. Uh, but you'll see the whole kitchen area. Of course, open concept, nice stainless steel appliances, nice, uh, nice cabinetry. And then you have the view. Look at this. Your whole, the whole wall is just a window. That's, I think that's pretty awesome if you're not uh, concerned about heights. <laughs> but this is looking towards North Dallas. Uh, you've, got, uh, you've got a little bit of like, a, what is gonna be over there, 35, that, that area off of 635. You know, a lot of offices and spaces over there. This is going to be a massive complex right there. And oh, you can even see down into this unit. Looks like they've got a pretty nice courtyard right there. But the good thing is, is that, see, look at this. This is built up. So, you know, likely the, the building up here is never going to block this view if you get this apartment. But I, that's only if you're going to stay here for years and years and years. A bedroom, again, well, your whole wall is windows. 
looking towards North Dallas, and then you're going to come in here and double vanity, nice shower, and your closet. So that is the, a one bedroom, one bath. This is on the 23rd floor. So they're actually marking this one as the penthouse. We're gonna go check out another one and see, see what that looks like. All right, let's go. And just to give you an idea as where we're at, as whenever we come out of this particular building, you can see here, you're right in the middle of Uptown. You come out, you've got some other complexes here, but right down, right down behind me is McKinney Avenue, which is all the restaurants and bars and there, I mean, there's several spots around here with restaurants and bars, but I think I know them. But uh, that, you hit right there, shopping, restaurants, bars, everything you need. Everything's walking distance, so uh, it's something that you can really enjoy being down here in Uptown. All right, so now let's go check out Bishop Arts. All right, so we're here in Bishop Arts and we're at a, a new complex. They are actually still finishing up some of the common areas, but rooms are, are available and ready to rent. And one of my good friends, Ashley, is the interior designer of this building. So you will see all the decorations inside here. De not decorations, designs. I gotta be careful with that. She is an interior designer, not a decorator. Not that there's anything wrong with decorators, but uh, there is a distinction between the two. Uh, but she is amazing and uh, does some great work. And so if you need some help with some interior design on your own projects, then uh, it, we can get, get you in touch and I'm sure she'd be happy to help out. But anyways, we're here in this, this new complex in Bishop Arts. Bishop Arts, one of my favorite neighborhoods in Dallas. But look at this, Th again, this is what I love about Texas, at least in Dallas, is it's in the middle of January right now. You can see the sun is in my eyes. Uh, I don't have a coat on and look, at the, they have all of the doors open to this whole complex uh, or to this whole lobby area. It looks like a hotel, but you got to check this out. Look, as you walk in here, you can see they've got a nice pool table, nice lounge area. If you want to come down here and get some work done, look at this. I don't know. You got the got the lounge area in there too. This is very, very calming. Look, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Look at these floors, the detail, the herringbone style. Love it. And this goes all the way again, more seating area, great designs, the wood beams. There's your entryway back into get to all the other apartments. And you know, there's your crew. Everyone say hello. So absolutely look at this table. Look how big that whole table is right there. And, and that's the entry point. So, so this is an amazing place. They got some outdoor seating here and you're going to have access. You're going to be walkable to everything you need. I'm going to actually, if you stick around till the end, I'm going to walk you through a little bit uh, through Bishop Arts so you can get a good idea of what it's like to be uh, around in the, the cool areas. So, but let's go check out some apartments first. All right. Let's go. All right, so now we're checking out our first apartment. This is actually what they consider a studio apartment, but it's awesome. Uh, it's just under 600 square feet and brand spanking new. Actually, my good friend is a designer here. And uh, even though I, I know I mentioned that earlier, but look at this kitchen area. Again, they're considering this a studio and I'll show you why, because you look here and even though you got the nice living room area right here, uh, you do have a, I would say it's a bedroom, but they're, they're calling it a studio. But let's take a look at that and you can see, I still, for something small starting out, I like it. It's going to be looking over the, the courtyard area. They're actually, they're still just finishing up that courtyard just a little bit. Uh, but here's the bedroom and you can see you kind of got this barn window type that, that you can close off. But still, hey, it's a little, little bit of a tight fit in here, but... Uh, you know, it works. And you got the barn door to close off the bathroom, which is amazing. You've got this uh, closet in here. And then look at this bathroom. I'd say that's a pretty awesome bathroom. Let's check out and see if we've got some lawn. And we do, we do have laundry. We do have laundry. So that is awesome right there. So again, this is going to be a studio, what they consider a studio apartment, right around 1400 square feet. But I tell you what, 
This area in Bishop Arts is amazing. And I'm going to show you that if you stick around till the end, I'll show you why it's so awesome and why you want to be around here. So let's go check out the next place. All right, so now we're here in a one bedroom, one bath with a study. So you can see right behind me, you've got the kitchen. Uh, you've got these awesome gray countertops, some of the dark woods in there. This is what they call the study area right here. So uh, if you're going to be working from home, which <laughs> I know a lot of us are doing that these days, especially with COVID in effect, um, you got an awesome studio area or it could even be your bar. You've got the nice the barn doors there as well. You could open that up, serve all your guests out here in the living room. And as you can see, you got a patio area, overlooks the street. I would say not the best view in the world, but you know, hey, does give you, uh, you know, some out that outdoor that you need. Uh, you've got the nice built-in bookshelves right there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, they actually said, I mean, I like the concrete floors in here, but they actually said they're going to be installing some some hardwoods. So here's your bedroom. and your bathroom hello nice double vanity nice shower look at these i mean tall ceilings that's what you that's what you like about this place i'm happy they did that and a good sized closet in here as well so all in all i'd say it's not bad this is a one bedroom one, one bath they said it's right around two thousand per month uh you know it's not bad, but you've got so much going on right here in Bishop Arts. And again, you stick around till the end, and I'll show you exactly why you're going to love this area of Bishop Arts. So I think it's a great option. and Definitely put it on the list to consider. So uh, let's, uh, let's go check out Bishop Arts. All right, so I just wanted you to get an idea about uh, when you come out of your apartment in Bishop Arts, what you have at your access. And you can kind of see... You can kind of see the shops on that side. You can see shops on this side, little clothing boutiques. You've got a uh, cafe and bar, cafe and bar right over here. And you'll see here, they are really building up this area in Bishop Arts. This was, uh, this was not here uh, within the last year, a lot of this, but they're building it up to make it look old, which is really cool. You'll look over here, you got tribal all day cafe. Uh, you've got ice cream shop you can see right there and and this actually this street goes on for several blocks a lot of new um, a lot of new buildings in the area and but still they've restored a lot of buildings in this area too so you're going to get that history as well and Bishop Arts is a historic district so if you're looking for a single family home then you can find a really cool older home down in this area as well um, this uh, this patio bar over here right behind me you can see that patio bar is going to as one of the the best um, one of the best patio bars in all of dallas now you can see it's kind of covered up but that's that's part of the cool part uh, they've got more apartments going on down there and a lot of craftsmen bungalow homes in this area tons of coffee shops again and this just keeps going down on and on down there Let's, uh, I'll take you for a little quick stroll and we'll, we'll speed this up so uh, we don't keep you here all day. All right, let's check it out. All right, so that pretty much wraps up our apartment tour here in Dallas. We covered the three, I think, best areas if you're looking to get a place uh, to rent before you buy. 
and that would be Deep Ellum, Uptown, and where we're at right now in Bishop Arts. Uh, Bishop Arts is really one of my favorite spots uh, because it's a great mixture of the old and the new. Very affordable. Uh, again, Paradiso's right there, one of the top uh, best patio bars in Dallas, but it's, it's absolutely amazing here. I think I'm gonna stop in over here and get me a coffee. But again, you know, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, you know, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas, even if you're looking to rent. And then please comment below, let us know your favorite spot. Did you, did you like Deep Ellum? Did you like Uptown or do you like Bishop Arts? And uh, you know, we'd love to hear your opinion or if there's an area you'd like to see. Also, we didn't cover in this one, but West Dallas, uh, West Dallas is another good option. So that's something that you'll want to keep in mind as well. And uh, maybe we'll show you around there next time because that's also an up and coming neighborhood. So, you know, uh, until next time, we hope to see you around town.